Is this all right? No. A bit clashy. Yeah, that is, you cannot wear that. That's good. Effortless, darling. Matchy, matchy. Oh, why do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> Again, all right, let's fix this. Do you think that's crooked enough or do you want to tip it a little bit? I think I'm too far away. That looks good. You'll notice <laughs> we've repositioned the tree. We've framed this one Take this Very seriously. We wanted to give you guys a life update. It's been a while and so much has happened. Um, there's so much to look forward to in the new year, this new year. And we wanted to reflect on 2023 because I was like just looking at everywhere we went and what we did and it's pretty bananas. It was bonkers. That around the world trip nearly broke me. So we wanted to talk about what we did and reflect upon that. We wanted to talk about the kids, our relationship. Riley's got some really fun numbers and stats for me. Super fun. Like So fun. These are some of the funnest numbers. Fibonacci, Prime. We also have some questions numbers. from you guys and assumptions about us. I love hearing assumptions and we'll either confirm or deny them. Let's jump right in. <laughs> I'm like, I wouldn't say I'm super worried, but like, if I'm not on a boat doing something adventurous, I'm worried that you guys are just going to be like, what are you doing? But last time, everyone really loved our life update. Yeah, you guys so loved it. So we want to, it's, it's more sort of intimate and personal. Yeah, so, yeah we're going to yeah, get a little bit deep doing. in this one. We've just found ourselves with a couple of weeks off the boat because the new diesel engine is going in and we didn't want to be there for that. It actually went in yesterday, so yeah, pretty soon we're going to be back on board. And Here's some photos of the engine. We feel like limitless again with a boat that fully works. They installed the engine correctly this time. So yes, this is our new Yanmar 54 horsepower diesel engine. The exact same as the first one that broke. We got this new one though under warranty, thankfully. And before we closed the hatches and left our boat in Malaysia actually, we had to take down the structural jib, which is no small task. I hoisted Riley up the mast so he could unlash it, and then we had to try and fold it and pack it away, where it would then be shipped overseas to be recut with the sail makers. The sail just wasn't the perfect size, which can sometimes happen when you get a brand new, fairly custom built boat. Anyway, I won't say this is the last thing on our boat's jobs list we'll have to do, but for now, it definitely is. We just want to go sailing. So we actually took a little bit of inspiration from our good pals, Cara and Nate, because they made a sick life update video recently, and I was like, awesome. <laughs> Do not point at people. So that's what we're doing. You're not good with dates and places and countries and stuff? Do you concur? Well... Alright, well if then let me do, ask you, if it's where to do, we... If it's to do with sailing, uh, future, yes, past, no. And also what I'm doing next week, no idea. But I know when the seasons are changing, where the hurricanes are and where we need to be. Anyway. Mate, I don't want to hear any of that. All I'm asking you is, are you good with memory and where we were and when? No. Thank you. So, <laughs> 2023 was a big year. We started off, well, we moved off of our boat at the end of 22, our catamaran, and we went up to the Arctic uh, Circle. Hang, hang on, sorry to interrupt already. <laughs> Was that legit last year, 2023? No, so I need a little lead up. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, Jesus. No, no. All right. But yeah, we, we moved off our catamaran at the end of 22. We went up to the Arctic Circle for a trip on an expedition boat. Oh man, that was amazing. Yeah, that was incredible. Got a lot of work done in a very small amount of time up there. Went to the Annapolis Boat Show and then we moved over to Asia just to be closer to our new boat. And we spent a month doing some boat building. Mm -hmm. um, and then when we realized yep. It was still going to be a long time before this boat was done. We took some time away from the boat building and let them, you know, play catch up. And we went to Halong Bay in yep. Vietnam and hopped. Oh yeah, that was cool. Yeah, I mean, that was okay. I felt a bit like a retired person because it was like really slow. We're on a charter. It was, yeah, it was a big motorboat. Super beautiful, like some people would die for that one trip. Lacked a bit of adventure, didn't it? It did. Yep. And all the pinnacles kind of look the same. <laughs> We'd be in a new spot. I'm like, oh, cool. I just, it, it, unless I'm doing it myself, 
I derive much less joy from that type of tourism than yeah. I than I would getting there under my own steam. Yeah, well, so it's the not location a the location could be a fifth as good and I would appreciate it infinitely more. If you were operating your own vessel. Correct. Yeah. So that's what we did. We actually ended up borrowing a couple of Rapido trimarans that were in Phuket, a 50 foot try and a 40 foot try. Yep. And that was fun. That yeah, was, that was good, hey. We sailed Phuket. Um, Caught up forest. Forest and Layla. She came to yep. help out with the kids and you got attacked by monkeys. I did. Mm -hmm. That video actually, we were not expecting that, but like we had... We had phone calls from Australian news outlets, mm. um, some in the US too. Got a lot of uh, attention for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. What did you guys think about that whole monkey thing? Was, was I in the wrong there? Have I punched too many animals? <laughs> uh, went back to visit our trimaran in Vietnam, did some more boat building, still wasn't done. And then we're like, what are we going to do? Because we don't want to live on land. We just wanted to be out at sea. And then I saw on my Instagram that um, Torrin, who is a really great surfer, he, he was selling his boat. And I was like, sweet, his boat is in Indonesia. Let's see if we can borrow it for a couple of months. Mm. Hopefully uh, three, help three months. Yeah, so we ended up sailing Indonesia for three months, living on this tiny 35 foot sailboat. Torrin's got a documentary out, which is amazing. And yeah. we'll, we'll link that in the... Somewhere description, yeah. in the description. And then about mid-year, I got burnout, which was such a surprise. I didn't feel, I guess, like now looking back, my nervous system, I was so on edge for so long and just working myself to the bone, to the ground. <laughs> what do bone. I say? Working myself to the bone and... That was horrible. Well, look at us now. We're making our own rules with how many videos we post. And before we were like, it was like YouTube made all the rules. To yeah, quickly sum it up, I was started opening my laptop and I was having panic attacks. And I'm like, what? I was so, I was in denial. I was like, this is not happening. And then I looked up the symptoms of burnout. I was like, oh my gosh, I think I actually have burnout. I, know, I think I've got PTSD from your burnout. Yeah, I mean, we were sailing Calypte in remote places and then I decided to have burnout and I like really needed help. <sighs> decided. So yeah, that's when we dropped from four or five videos a month, one every week, to two or three videos a month. And it's made I wanna, such a I big difference. I want to do two. I Someone like has two. to do three. I just do what we two can. Two is beautiful. So after burnout and recovery, we went on a world tour, which we questioned oh, for so yeah. long if that was going to be a good idea. We like sat around at night being like, should we pack up the whole family? My mum was pleading with me not Travel to do around that. The world. So we did a world boat tour series. We visited the US, uh, the UK and Europe. Oh, and Australia, we hopped on Greenpeace. There were a few times on that world tour where the kids were so jet lagged and we were too. And they were sleeping at like different times and we couldn't sleep. And then we had a boat to go and see. Darwin oh. was flipping out at like yeah. most airports. <laughs> yeah, the tantrums were understandable and they were quickly forgiven. But in the moment, I was like, this is the worst day of my life. Oh, you're magnanimous than I. But Darwin, if you're watching this when you're 20 or less than that, you owe me Oh, no schnitzel. way! <laughs> Wait, they don't owe us anything. We dragged them around the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Thank you. But seriously, yeah, schnitzel. Get him a schnitzel. What did you think of seeing seeing the different boats? Oh, so that was incredible. Yeah. Oh, like, Fujin, the gunboat. Um, you were in your element, hey, and I feel like you, you might have even learnt something too, just... Well, I was hanging out with Nils. Yep. And that really confirmed in you your choice on the Rapido. Yep. You were like, well, I'm sure we've made the right decision. I was already sure. And at the end of that trip, Riley took the boys back to Asia because uh, Lenny's passport was about like six months from expiring, which we failed to see. So he had to get the kids out of Europe while he could and and I still I wanted to go on the Sea Shepherd boat that was our last boat we were going to go check out so I got to do that by myself but I adopted my friend Julia her and I just bonded we love each other yeah she's awesome huh? it was so fun so we, yeah went on Sea Shepherd then uh, her and I went to Rome and then I went and saw Jack and Fran in Italy interesting stat about the Sea Shepherd coming up and then 
according to my timeline I've written here. You and I flew back to Vietnam after that world tour, did some work on our boat without the kids. Remember, we did a little romantic trip and then the kids joined us and we all moved onto the boat. Malaysia wasn't where we wanted to sail. We wanted to sail to the Philippines, but there were still typhoons, so we had to divert course. Now our boat is in Malaysia. That's where we'll be going back to. Typhoons are hurricanes, international nomenclature would be a tropical rotating storm and there were a bunch really late in the season which we weren't expecting but moving on we're just having a little morning tea break for some ag1 we're going to get our daily dose of vitamins and minerals we've been drinking ag1 for so long now and we absolutely love hearing your responses after you guys have tried ag1 it's the good gear <laughs> let's start again okay just point it down a bit, yes, it's a bit, yeah. It is so great, it's so convenient, it's nice that we don't have to shop around for all the various supplements that you're supposed to take every day. Uh, AG1 is what bridges the gap in your daily nutrition, so whether we're on the boat or we're traveling, we don't always get all the greens or, yeah, we don't always eat. It's phenomenal on the run, <laughs> never leave is. home without it's it. It's so great, especially their travel packs, which they're actually going to give you 10 for free today, and a year supply of their vitamin D3 and K2 drops with your first purchase, and it comes in such a beautiful kit. They've upped their merch recently too, which I love. About AG1, all you have to do is mix it with water. It's just one scoop with every eight ounces of water and you shake it. You don't have to hide the flavor, so that makes life easier as well. You don't have to go making smoothies or like disguising it in other things. It tastes nice, um, not too sweet, kind of like an apple though. AG1 supports your immunity. If you're going through winter now, um, you might want to look at grabbing some AG1. It supports your immunity, your gut health with the pre and probiotics. It has adaptogens, antioxidants, everything that's in here. If we were to buy all of that separately as supplements, it would cost so much more. So it's actually cheaper. Yeah, if you guys are looking for a really easy way to up your health, it's such an easy habit to get into. And uh, today they're going to give you 10 travel packs for free and a year's supply of the vitamin D3 and K2 sent to your house. Hopefully you live in a house and not everywhere else. Do you want to give me some stats? Let's mix it up. Yeah, okay. The amount of videos posted on the channel was 39. Average video length. No, baby, I think you meant to make me guess. What was the average video length? <laughs> You're terrible at this. Sorry, what was the average video <laughs> length? Um, I think I've seen like these numbers on our channel, like maybe like 15 minutes. 26.7 minutes. What? Yeah, because I guess we've been doing those hour long ones, which people seem to really love. Minutes of content posted in total. M minutes of content posted in total in a year. Yeah. This would be hard to guess. I cannot add this up. Just guess a number. Okay. Oh my Minutes. god. Oh my god. What you want to quickly do is 39 times more than 26 minutes. I can't babe, I'm not good with math. Just guess a number then. I can't even like, I can't put this sum. Just guess a number. A number. It's 40 working hours in a week. Okay. Are you guessing minutes? I don't know, 800 minutes? Uh, a thousand. Very, very good guess. Okay. The best guess you could have ever possibly have hoped to have come up with. Most viewed video of the year. It's going to be one of our hour longs. Yep. Maybe the one with the whale shark? Correct. Ah! Seven days at sea to find this raw, unfiltered hour special. 1.8 million views. I loved filming that one. At an, uh, over an hour, that's like huge thanks everyone for watching we That's went like on a mission to go find us. these whale sharks in Sumbawa and we were like a documentary film crew it was it epic. felt very adventurous didn't it yeah everything happened on that nearly trip. lost wild. Torrance boat <laughs> it dragged yeah, it away drifted off and then we nearly <laughs> sunk it all in the one yeah. thing mm -hmm. anyway the runner-up runner-up to that video yeah I feel like it's got to be the monkeys one it's not. Mm. It's raw, unfiltered boat life in Thailand with 1.8 oh. million views Oh, on views the, on the well. Rapido, the other Rapido trimaran. Yeah. Least viewed video. Oh, I know it is. Throw back to the, yeah, 72 I'm hours so aboard sad. the Sea Shepherd. No one liked my Sea Shepherd video. People but... have spoken. They want to see me on the <laughs> channel. It was mostly just Julia and I laughing. So Thumbs up. Probably people turned it off. For me. We were trying to figure out how many nautical miles we sailed, but that's impossible for us to figure out. Did you give that up? 
I did. I started like measuring on the sea people if app. If only there was an app that could help us out. I started measuring on the sea people app, but I didn't get very far because. Because you can go back and put in trips that you've previously done yeah. on the app. Mm -hmm. but, great, great plug, babe. But if we had been doing it, so the from whole now time. on it will be easy. Yeah, from now on it's going to be so easy to log our miles, our nautical miles. We've never logged our nautical miles. No, that's such a shame, hey? I know. Next. Things have never been better. Boom, cut. <laughs> Wrap it up. <laughs> get <Yeah>. off. <laughs> Riley really didn't want to talk about relationship. I just... Like, not every day you feel like it. Yeah. Like, I wanted to make this video today, but I don't... Anyway. Yeah, no. I agree. Things have probably never been better. Yeah. Things keep getting better. It's great. I love you. I know. <laughs> well, let's talk about the kids then. Lenny and Darwin. What's happening? Uh, so much fun now. Oh, man. They're just amazing. Yeah. They could not be in the room with us right now while we were filming this because it's it's chaos. They are jumping around. Darwin's constantly hurting himself. I don't know if we've ever said this, but yeah, again, Darwin, if you're watching this in 20 years' time, we're, you were we were wondering about whether we should have the second kid. <laughs> and I'm so, so glad that we did. Yeah, um, Lenny not just, just because him. Yeah, not just because... Darwin is amazing, and he is. Um, he's going to buy me a schnitzel, so I, I really love him. Yeah. Lenny and Darwin's relationship, running around, just screaming with joy all day long. It's Lenny looking bonkers. after him. It's so cute. It's so sweet to see. Lenny's just started homeschooling this new year. Darwin's still a little while from doing that, but we do have his, him on um, Khan Academy, just an online learning program, which he loves. I mean, we just try and... Given a social fix out at sea, trying to meet other children on sailboats, which will now become easier because of the Sea People app. In the past, it's been really hard. That to sounds find. like a plug, but that is legit. Like, that yeah, is I'm a so excited for there to be way more users on Sea People because at the moment it's just alpha users, and so we'll be what? popping up all the time. Like, hey, <laughs> want to hang out? Do you have children? <laughs> Do you have kids? But yeah, that's that's been a tr like a real problem in the past. It's so hard to find boats with kids, and now we can filter on the Sea People app. Cannot wait for all of you to join us on the app so we have more friends. Oh, Darwin can swim down and pick things up off the bottom of most pools now. Yeah. Which is a big, super proud moment for Dad. <laughs> <laughs> They're such good swimmers. Hey. <laughs> we could talk about just health and wellness, because... We get so many questions about that from you guys. Last time you spoke about your peptides and how you were doing all that muscle. Jacking up on work. the peppies. Yeah. Peppy Le Pew. <laughs> Anything new? Nah, trimmed down a bit, I think. Doing a lot of cardio, feel pretty healthy. Yeah, it's been nice um, being off the boat for a couple of weeks and actually using a proper gym. Mm. I really want to come up with a good boat fitness routine. because. Yeah, so I've ordered some sandbags. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then let us know if you want us to make a fitness video, which we've been umming and ahhing about. Can you help me come up with a fitness routine back on the boat? Because like that. Yeah, last... I'd love to. Oh, you know what? If there's anyone out there watching that wants to, that is like really, really good at it and can work with Elena and I to create some um, stuff, we'd love to work with you. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, come up with a kind of having to use your own body weight and we can use bands. And I really want weights on our Calisthenics. boat. Calisthenics. Yeah. No, that's for the sandbags. The sandbags, Sand okay. We're gonna have water. to use sandbags. But yeah, so and if someone wants to band. collaborate and, and work on a routine for us, that'd be sick. And another collaborator that we need would be an online tutor for Lenny. So we've already reached out to our patrons about this. So he already has a tutor, but her English is not her first language. So we want we want that long term. Or, what, I want the best tutor in the world for yeah. my kid. If you or someone that you know is incredibly motivated at for children's education and inspiring like just a good human that they can look up to if you are mary poppins um meets stephen hawkins hawkins why stephen hawkins because he did some stuff with black holes okay he's smart i know if you are mary poppins yeah or you know of a mary poppins pop into our emails Gmail. <laughs> With the title, Mary Poppins. 
too hard. All right, Elaine is gonna move on to the questions. Throw a few questions at me. Okay. What are your plans for when you're older? Do you think you'll ever retire? I feel no. like we've like, this is what people do when they retire is they go sailing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think that I might uh, drop it down to one video a month and make it really, really good. But I just, what we're currently doing, I absolutely love. Yeah, Riley always says if he had $10 billion in the bank, he would still be doing what we do. Yeah. And how good is that? Would you? Yeah, definitely. I think I would get that washing machine on the boat though. We'd also fix the dinghy lift at the stern. Yeah. There's yeah. some If we stuff. had $10 billion, we'd have that dinghy sort of. Yeah, we would. It's a shame and, if we didn't. And my freaking washing machine. You, you know what? <laughs> you are never getting a washing machine. <laughs> Would you ever get into racing, your boat or other boats? Too busy. Too busy what? Living life, exploring places? What? Uh, yeah, sailing, which is Cruising. a job. It's not easy to do. Um, it's fun and I love it, but it's, a, it's, you know, challenging. Getting a boat ready for cruising to live on your boat full time is a lot different to living on a weekend sailboat that races. Yeah, yeah, I see. And then making the videos and stuff, we don't really have enough time to just be flicking off around the world, going and going racing. Going in races. Having uh, said that, um, if there's anyone out there on a Mod 70 that would like to invite me to do the Trans-Pacific um, next year, does it go every year? That's something that I might be interested in. Is there a reason you each sleep with one of the boys for their safety while on the water? Absolutely, yeah, that's the reason why we have one kid each because we can't all sleep together in the same bed and we can't have the kids sleeping by themselves on the boat in case one of them wakes up before we do and decides to go swimming. I can understand the questions though about water safety and all of that because when you're not, when you haven't sailed yourself or when it's like a world you can't imagine, it immediately seems dangerous. Mm. Like when I first told my parents, my mom and my stepdad that I was, I met a boy in Greece and we we're gonna sail the world together. Yeah. The first thing she said was, Elena, what about the big waves? What about the sharks? So like, it's, and mm. I mean, we're more likely to die driving on a highway in Miami. That highway is nuts, by the way. Oh, what about a scooter in Southeast Asia? Yeah. That so, is by far the most dangerous thing that we do. This one's from Shane. Do you ever miss the old mono hull? I miss the experiences we had on board because that was just such a raw, wild time where we were learning and learning to be in a new relationship and no, it was beautiful. traveling the whole world. We did places a lot I never on thought that I'd see. Boat. Yeah. For me, the, the short answer would be yes, and a slightly more detailed answer would be I am very interested. I love sailing, so when I'm looking at a sailboat, it's a tool that I use to propel me around the world. And so my love for the vessel is directly to proportional to how well it does that job. So um, we've, my love for my vessels has increased incrementally. Mm. Let's, let's put it that way. Have you ever tried microdosing? I feel like our, our video will get demonetized if we talk about this. I wouldn't have thought so. Um, well, yes, I recently did. Yeah, I'm awesome. strictly macrodosing. Okay, that's probably enough questions, hey? All right, moving on to assumptions. You guys spend a lot of time naked on the boat when the camera's not rolling. Pre-crew, yes, but now we always have other crew on board. Frequently, yeah. So, but right, that doesn't stop you. <laughs> there's, a, yeah. there's an ongoing joke about how Forest. many people have seen Riley's bum. <laughs> My... Yeah, and you, of course, yeah. the other thing. My... <laughs> There's been a song written about it in the South oh, yeah. Pacific. Someone wrote a song about Riley's d Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good song. It was catchy. Because he kept seeing it from the boat across from us. Yeah. So I do, I do do a fair bit of naked stuff. He does. This one's from Nancy. Your life is harder than you let on. That might have been true. Yeah, I think that was true. Yeah, that was true. Um, and I think if you'll forgive me, when you were younger, you you wanted to portray a nicer version of our life. 
Yeah. And I was... I just thought that's what social media was for, only showing the best highlights. Yeah, yeah. And I was sort of like, when it, like, I feel duty bound to sort of keep this real. Yeah. And then we've tried to find our way and navigate through that. And I think, I hope that we're doing a pretty good job these days. Because you don't want to just complain. Mm. Um, but then you don't want to pretend like everything's good, so it's it's like, yeah. <laughs> don't do no, anything. No, I'm not going Can't be bothered with that. There's you naughty little rap scallions. There's so much sex in here. <laughs> so much. <laughs> You've got a crazy sex life. Elena is the dom. Y'all swingers, freaks in the sheets. <laughs> I was thinking of making an episode of Sailing the Vagabond like between the sheets or something. Oh yeah, you were. Yeah, yeah. A little sexual innuendo, a little, uh, little double entendre. This one, okay, so you guys swear a lot, just not so much on camera. This is true. I go through phases. As soon as like, if an Australian comes we're to visit sailors. me, I like- Cut us some slack. Drop back into my old ways of just, of swearing. There was a lot of swearing where I grew up. Mm. And so anytime an Aussie comes to visit, like subconsciously something switches and I revert back to that. It's yeah, me hard. Too. It's hard. It's a bad habit. I think a well-timed swear word is uh, beneficial to a conversation. Doesn't it mean you're a more honest person if you swear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more. Elena would like a third kid, a Riley would not. False. Neither of us want a third kid. It's not happening. <laughs> so many more. Riley, Riley came out of the womb with his moustache. <laughs> I'm still convinced you did. I've never seen you without a moustache. Oh, you haven't? No. Wow. One of these days he's going to shave it off and he wants to make a video called The Day My Moustache Blew Off and he's going to surprise the kids and try and tell them that his moustache blew off in the head. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do that. They'll believe you. Yeah, It'll yeah. be so I've got to do it before they're too old. Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Lenny's just old enough. He'll be going like... <laughs> like really trying to figure it out. And he'll like probably consult Dr. Binox. Probably, like, probably. Lenny's pretty cluey. We've kept you here long enough. Plans for 2024 this year. We are sailing the Philippines and then we're sailing to Japan. That's going to be amazing. And that's as far as we've planned, to be honest. There's no other, we don't have any other goals. Like I feel like the Japan trip is going to be a ch so much of a challenge that that's like what we're looking at and what we're anticipating. Most a little excited bit. about. Yeah. So it's going to be a good year. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go and uh, freak the sheets. <laughs>